Getting ready to do uh, start installing or fabricating um, and assembling the uh, move bumper running board kit for a 2006 Ford F350. I mean, this is for the crew cab. They do have it available in two different uh, length kits, whether you have a crew cab um, or a single cab, they can facilitate the different sizes. Um, so got all the materials unpackaged here. The main running board is going to be a three-piece assembly with that being the centerpiece. And then uh, got the bracketry, hardware, end caps, um, you know, all the parts and pieces to get these things going together. Um, you know, the first step to getting everything prepped is getting all the bevels for welds and prepping all the materials, making sure they're all ready to assemble. So I'm going to work on getting that going, get all these ends here. Um, you know, beveled where we're going to have flush uh, butt welds and getting everything cleaned up and ready to start welding. Um, you know, I just would like to talk on the quality of the metal. Um, you know, everything's, you know, nice press broke. Uh, these dimple dies are super clean. Um, you know, fit and finish, you know, everything looks uh, to be right on. You know, these are the mounting brackets that, uh, go up onto the frame and then the second piece here puzzles onto it gets welded on and uh you know so far the kit looks uh very complete and uh yeah excited to get going on it all right just got uh done prepping i think just about everything so didn't take very long probably five ten minutes of grinding um personally i like using these uh um, it's like a fast grind disc abrasive works great for getting bevels um, you know cuts through metal really quick and uh, does a great job so um, here's the center pieces you can see pretty much did about a 45 degree bevel on the edges just leaving uh, you know probably about a uh, 16th or less of material on the bottom so when these things butt up together get a little bit of backing in there for the weld um, these pieces here are uh, splice plates that uh, go in here for those seams, help give them a little bit of extra backing. So gave those things just a little bit of a bevel so that they fit in there inside of the press brake nice and tight. I'm um, probably going to use some clamps to assemble them. Um, the ends of the running boards didn't need a whole lot. Um, here's the end cap pieces that go on those. So just here. On the uh, the one end, I gave them just a little bit of a bevel on that side, but um, the way these things sit outside pretty much gives you a good uh, good little recess, a little uh, place there for your weld to drop into. So just right here on this outside corner, a little bit of a bevel. Um, so yeah, so I uh, got the end plates all ready to go. You can see the bevels there on the end. And then to uh, the vehicle specific mounting brackets right here. That same thing there, put a little bit. We're gonna have a butt weld, get a nice little bevel on it. And uh, so yeah, so these go on there. And then sits together just like that. Again, nice good recesses for your welds. And then this slot here to the right of my hand is actually where the uh, running board step goes into and this goes up inside the step. So, so that's what the assembly will look like once it goes up on the truck. So I'm just gonna get those tacked up um, so they're nice and straight, but I'm not gonna weld any of those off until we get it on the truck. And uh, yeah, so we'll get to welding. Finish up welding on all the uh, end caps. So fitment came out really nice. Some people's weld probably look better than mine, but get good penetration. And uh, yeah, a little bit of grinding. Um, yeah, I did kind of switch it up on this one. This is the one I started on. Started out kind of pulse welding it and then decided I didn't like that. So just ended up, uh, you know, pulling beads on everything. So, yep. All right, got a... Uh... The full assembly uh, of the running boards all done. So 
ran out of uh, welding wire, so always a good reminder to uh, check your welder, make sure you got an extra spool of wire laying around um, before you get going on something in the evening time, because you can't go buy more. So I was able to run and get some more uh, wire this morning uh, using the uh, Lincoln L56 030 is my preference for smaller stuff. So you can see under here, got the splice plates. Again, don't judge my welds, but uh, you know, fitment went really good. Just used a couple of, uh, you know, typical like vice grip type welding clamps to make sure everything was aligned and squeezed everything together. So just using a couple of those. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna uh, work on uh, moving over to the truck and uh, yeah, start mocking up the in-place bracket. All right, got all the uh, attachment brackets tacked up. So they go up to the uh, bottom side of the body, just like that. Bolts go in from this, uh, the left-hand side, like where my glove is, through those slotted holes there. So you get some adjustment to set your boards to where you want them. And then uh, the running board itself fits right over that piece right there. So got all these all tacked up and uh, gonna work on getting them onto the truck now.